everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Giovanni here with another video if this is your first time welcome I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and leave a comment down below so today's video is uh, my first ever Halloween makeup um, special effect whatever I don't know what you want to call it so I decided to do the zip top face and stuff like that so this is I'm gonna put on a wig I just wanted to do the intro now so you guys can see the finished look at the end all the way at the end so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video slash tutorial it was not that hard and everything that I use um, is from Party City so it's very um, inexpensive and it's very easy to find so I hope you guys enjoy if you enjoyed don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and continue watching bye First, I'm going in with my MAC Fix Plus just to spray that all over my face. Next, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer and I'm just putting that over all over my face. And I used the setting spray before just to, you know, moisturize my face because I have a lot going on today. Now I'll be going in with an eyebrow pencil and I'm going to use this just to mark the spot where I want the zipper to lay on the side of my face. I'm going to use the zipper as guidance so when I apply the um, glue which is the spirit gum on my face so I can know exactly where to put it before I place the um, zipper. Now I'm going in with the spirit gum and I will be using that little brush that came with it and I'm just going to put this over the line that I placed on my face because that's where the zipper will go and I'm just going to apply this and also just put the zipper as I apply the spirit gum and you're going to have to hold the zipper in place for a few seconds. Alright, so I am missing some footage. I don't know how this happened. Like I've been struggling all week. This video was supposed to be up a long time ago. But on the other eye, I just went in with some black paint. And um, right now, I'm going over on the top and all around with some red paint. And this all came from the um, kit that I got from Party City. And then after that, I'm just going to apply some black shadow on top of it. And then just make it look really nasty and kind of like a black eye. For the black shadow, I will be using the Milani eyeshadow and I don't believe, I think it's just black. I don't remember the name, um, the color, but everything will be in the description bar below. I'm 
I'm going in with the liquid latex that came in that kit also and I'm just gonna use that brush that it came with and I'm just gonna now start applying this wherever I want any scars wherever I want it to look real nasty where I want blood to come out of it and as I'm gonna do this I'm gonna apply some tissue paper on top and I'm just gonna build it up so tissue paper latex tissue paper latex until you're satisfied Now to give my face that grayish effect, I will be going in with some black and white paint and I'm just going to use a beauty blender and I'm just mixing both of those colors together just to give my face, you know, like that zombie, you know, like type of thing, like grayish effect so it doesn't look just like my normal skin or just plain. Now you guys, for this video, I was all over the place because this is my first time doing anything like this. So I did not know what I was doing. Like, it's just after I noticed that some other stuff I should have done first before I did some other things. But now I know for next time. So I got you guys. And I will have more videos coming soon. So stay tuned for that also. I am now going in with scissors and what I'm gonna do now is just cut open those wounds that I created with the liquid latex and the tissue paper. Now I'm just gonna cut it up open, you know, just a little bit, not too much, so I can put like some black on the inside and some blood so I can make it look real and cool. I am you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
going back in with the Milani black eyeshadow and I'm just going to pack that all around that wound and I'm also going to put that on the inside of the wound. First, I'm going in with this red paint that was from the kit also, and I'm just going to use that little brush that came with it. I'm just going to apply that, apply that all over those wounds that I have on my face, all of them, all around and the inside, just to make it look nasty and it's going to start to look more realistic before I apply um, blood. I am now going in with the fake blood and at first I will be using this sponge and I'm just going to put it all over on the inside, on the outside part of the zip side, on the wound on my face. I'm just going to put it all over and then after that I'm just going to take the blood and just squeeze it in there so I can make it drip. Now I'll be going in with some bloody scab. It's just like, kind of like nasty flesh, you know, to have like all those things on my face. Now I am missing the footage for my lips, but all I did was put some black, red, and some liquid latex. And this will be the finished look, you guys. I can see. 